everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I won't be doing a recipe or any cooking or anything. Today, I wanted to try out some DIY disinfecting wipes. So I shared a little homemade DIY disinfecting wipes on Instagram the other night and a few people messaged me about the ratios and how to um, calculate the amounts to add to the mixture. So I figured I'd do a video to show you all how to do it. Everyone's panicking right now. There are no disinfecting wipes on the shelves, no isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Even the dollar store is out and usually that's where I buy it. So I figured today I'll show you how to make homemade disinfecting wipes using stuff that you can still find in the stores. So you let me know what you've been doing so far during this entire season. Tell me how you are staying calm. And I know it's really hard to stay calm because the groceries are out of toilet paper, out of water, no cleaning supplies, no wipes. So I know everyone's freaking out right now. So just calm yourself down, do some meditation, smudge your place, purify with some sage, use some essential oils just to calm you down and we'll get through this together. So keep watching to see how I make these DIY disinfecting wipes. start you'll need some Everclay and I got this at my local Total Wine for $16.99. This one is actually 190 proof with 95% alcohol. This is a green alcohol which means that it's a purified form of ethyl alcohol or ethanol made from the distillation of fermented green. It's considered a neutral spirit so it has no added flavor. And this is highly flammable, so you want to be careful when you're using it. And actually, Everclear isn't meant for drinking. This is actually used to make other alcohol. So please don't drink this. Next, you need some distilled water. If you don't have this laying around at home, just use some boiled and cooled tap water or bottled water. You'll also need some high quality paper towel. If you use low quality towels, they'll just fall apart once they're saturated with liquid. You can use napkins also, but just make sure that they're good quality. You can also use dish rags if you don't have any paper towels lying around. This is optional, but I like using some essential oils to give it a nice scent. And of course, you need some containers or jars to put these wipes in. And if you don't have some, use some old wipes containers or even some freezer bags. To start making our alcohol solution, we need to dilute the alcohol to 70%. Why 70% when my alcohol is already 95%? So this takes me back to my college microbiology class. One of our lab questions was why is 70% alcohol more effective than 95% or 100% alcohol? The simple answer is when using 99% rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, do you notice how fast it evaporates from your hand? and it leaves you with dry, ashy skin too. 70% alcohol takes a longer time to evaporate and therefore it increases the contact time with the microbes on the surface so it gets to penetrate the microbe and kill it while evaporating slowly. This is why 70% is more effective at killing germs. If you're using 70% rubbing alcohol, there's no need to further dilute it or to add water because 70% is just the right amount of alcohol we need. Once the water is added to the alcohol to dilute it, mix well to fully incorporate it. Now add a few drops of essential oils. I like lavender and rosemary. If this was solely for my hands, I would have used the eucalyptus oil because all my hand sanitizers are eucalyptus scented. Now cut the paper towel roll. I actually did this part first and you wanna make sure it fits the jar. Hey, look, we got a roll of toilet paper.
Place the towels into the jar and pour the solution all over the towels to ensure that they become saturated. Once the towels are saturated, the cardboard roll should slide out really easily. Some people that and if you didn't have any paper towels at home or you didn't want to use it up, you can use the solution as a spray. So you can add it to a spray bottle and use it to spray around your home and use a dish cloth or even paper towel to wipe it up. You can even mix this solution with equal parts of aloe vera to make some hand sanitizer. According to the CDC.gov, soap and water is more effective. Only use hand sanitizer if you're not able to do hand washing. Now cover the container with plastic wrap because the alcohol will slowly evaporate if the jar isn't sealed properly. And these wipes can also be made with store-bought cleaning chemicals. I made some floor wipes using pine sol and a citrus antibacterial cleaner. And these are way too strong for me. I get really sick when I inhale these. Now use your wipes to disinfect your home or anywhere else you want to use it. Use it in the kitchen, the bathroom, your car, or even if you get some minor cuts on your finger, you can use it. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in the century? Oh. Alexa, do you feel clean? Hmm, I don't know that one. Please remember that Everclear is not meant for drinking as it is, it's intended to be diluted to make a lower proof alcohol. It's also highly flammable, so prepare your solution in a safe area. Please follow the CDC.gov for more information on keeping yourself safe and reducing your risk of contracting the disease. Remember that this is not meant to be a substitute, but a temporary solution. Hi everyone, so here I have the homemade wipes and the rest of the Everclear. So what I can say is that these wipes actually cleaned the surfaces really well. It smelled good, it looked shiny and nice. But as you know, with germs, even though it looks shiny and nice, the germs could still be there. So I can't recommend that you use these because I'm not the CDC.gov. You need to check out that website. All I can say is that this is an effective home cleaner, especially when you can't get anything else. Something is better than nothing. So that's my take on these DIY disinfecting wipes. So I just wanted to shout out Mr. Daryl Morris. He's a pharmacist and he actually helped me out with the ratios and everything. So I just wanted to big him up and tell him thank you so much. And make sure you all stay safe and follow the CDC.gov. They have lots of great information that you can follow to prevent yourself from being at risk. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you find the ingredients that you need or that you already have it at home. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope the video was really helpful. Be sure to leave all your comments in the comment box below, your suggestions. Tell me if you make your own wipes at home and let me know what ingredients you use. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye. According to the CDC.gov, cleaning, disinfecting, and sanitizing are three different things. Cleaning uses soap and water to physically remove the germs from surfaces. This process doesn't kill the germs, it just reduces the risk of spreading infection. Disinfecting kills germs on surfaces or objects. It may not clean a dirty surface or remove the germs, but it kills the germs and prevents the spread of infection. Sanitizing lowers the number of germs on surfaces or objects and it works by either cleaning or disinfecting surfaces to lower the risk of spreading infection.